PALTEM flow ring method is the solution for all types of pipes. It can be used on a wide range of pipeline diameters, from 800 millimeters, about 32 inches, to 5,000 millimeters, roughly 200 inches across. The largest installation to date was in a pipe with an internal diameter of 5,500 millimeters, 217 inches. Moreover, there is no limit on the length of the pipe or conduit. The longest project to date was 750 meters, 820 yards long. The Paltem flow ring method works on pipes of any shape, round, horseshoe, rectangular, and more. So it can be used in sewer lines, irrigation lines, electrical conduit, or other types of pipelines. There are nine major benefits of using the Paltem flow ring method. It allows for order-made strength design. It easily negotiates curved sections of a pipe. It can be used in all types of pipe shapes. It handles arched construction and open channels. It adjusts to fit the gradients in a pipe. It improves flow performance. It's exceptionally durable. It allows for designs that meet earthquake-proofing guidelines. It offers reliable construction quality, and it's economical since no special equipment or skills are required. Now that we've seen the benefits, let's take a look at how the Paltem flow ring method is used in medium to large diameter pipes. After cleaning the interior of the pipe, a visual inspection is carried out, and if any cracks or water infiltration are found, they are repaired. Next, detailed measurements are taken of the pipe to determine the precise shape and size for the custom ordered steel rings. The Paltem flow ring method uses steel rings, surface strips, base strips, and the flow ring mortar that serves as grouting. The steel rings are shaped according to the contours of the pipe, and they feature evenly spaced grooves into which the base strip is installed. The rings are pre-cut to the appropriate size so that they can be brought in through a manhole. The surface and base strips are made of a high-density, flexible plastic material that was exclusively developed to enhance the flexibility of the Paltem flow ring system. Paltem's mortar grouting is exceptionally fluid, allowing it to fill the spaces and crevices of complex shapes, while at the same time excelling in terms of its anti-washout, non-shrinking, and non-breathing properties. Because the mortar grouting is manufactured in a specialized factory and then brought to the site in a mixer truck, Paltem is able to strictly monitor the quality of the material. In areas where a mixer truck can't be sent, the mortar can be hand mixed with on-site quality control. Next, let's look at how the rings are installed. First, the custom-made laser-cut steel rings are brought in through the manhole and are installed with specialized nuts and bolts both around the circumference of the pipe and lengthwise. Anchor bolts firmly secure the steel rings. One of the key features of the Paltem flow ring method is that it does not require any special equipment or skills to install. Also, because the steel rings can be positioned on an angle, they can easily negotiate curves and gradients within the pipe. Once the steel rings are in place, the base strips and surface strips are lowered into the manhole. Using a plastic hammer, the base and surface strips are assembled. The strips are connected using a stainless steel joint and a sealant is applied to tightly seal the strips. Once the surface strips have been installed, measurements are taken to ensure that the work was done according to the plans. Then they move on to the grouting stage. Holes are drilled into the surface strips to create inlets for the grout. At the same time, air vent pipes are also attached in locations where air might get trapped in order to ensure that there are no gaps due to insufficient grouting. Next, the grouting equipment is set up, including the grout pump, 
hopper, flow meter, and flow recorder. At last, they are ready for the grouting. A flow test is done and the viscosity and weight of the mortar are checked on the spot. In addition, a sample of the mortar is taken back to the lab for testing to provide thorough quality control. After the flow test is done, the grouting is inserted into the space between the original pipe and the newly installed strips. Once they have confirmed that the mortar has flowed out of the vents, the grouting is done. When the grout sets, the insertion hoses are removed and the grout inlets are capped and tightly sealed.